Hi guys, good morning. So today I'm going to be doing a little weekend in my life. Today's Thursday. I just had a crazy week of school. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It was like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It was grind time all day. Lots has been going on, but I am so excited for the weekend. I am so excited it's gonna be here. We have a game weekend coming up. Tegan is coming to visit. Lots is gonna go on. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend, so I'm hoping maybe we can go to the beach tomorrow and just do a bunch of stuff. But before the weekend starts and we have a little bit of fun i do have some things that i want to get done i have two interviews which i'm really really nervous about one is today at 3 30 after my three o'clock class so i'm very nervous for that one that's like one of the bigger scarier ones i also got an email about a confirmation for an interview tomorrow morning so i need to do some research on both of them i'm pretty much set with all of my school stuff for the most part i have a couple things that come out but i can do those tomorrow basically how i prepare for interviews i'm not okay that's also another thing is i'm not the best at interviewing i have really been trying to work on it whether it's like i'm gonna get the job or not it's definitely good to just go through an interview process and to learn more and to see what they have to offer familiarizing yourself with talking to people that you don't know who are in the company and stuff it's just it's really good learning so I've learned a lot from that and of course TikTok. TikTok has helped me so much guys. The reason I got this interview today was because of TikTok. Hopefully it goes well, I'm so nervous. I just made myself a coffee. Guys, we got an ice maker machine. It's literally so cool. I'll leave a link down below and with whatever promo or discount thing they have going on right now, I'll let you guys know. It's literally so cool top tier at game day like everyone was like coming up to me and was like where the heck did you get this ice maker like it's so cool because it's the little chick-fil-a ice cubes and it's so useful and helpful on game days because we don't have an ice machine or an ice maker in our fridge you know making like the handmade ice or whatever was a pain in the butt so the ice machine is a one i love it it's from a brand called high cozy and they have an amazon page where you can buy their products 10 out of 10 recommend today's gonna be a great day i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can for you guys because i want it to be a really fun one also i want to show you guys the pr package that i got i got two packages super cool let's show you guys this first one is from a company called Verst, and i've seen them all over the place and i've always wanted to try them so all their packaging is so cute but they sent over all these goodies that was so sweet of them and they did not have to do this this is so cute this i'm so excited for like right when i get out of the shower or i'm doing my makeup at night like just put this on i think i chose the acne fighting kit so this is an acne calming cream cleanser it's vegan cruelty free fragrance free free we have the weekend glow daily brightening solution clarifying serum and then this is the dew point moisturizing gel cream so i'm really excited to try using this you guys know i've been really into my skin stuff recently let's start preparing for this interview i'm gonna go on linkedin and research the crap out of them and then i'm gonna go on a google docs and just like write down all my notes i'm gonna go on their website stalk everyone you know the whole nine yards i'm gonna get very prepared for this interview Okay, hi guys. So, I filmed this video. It was the first football game of the season. We played Boston College. It was great. Such a fun game. But that vlog was only about like seven minutes long. So wanted to make it longer. The clip that you just saw starting this video is like a week later for the second game day. But... I wanted to put in the footage of the first game day just because it was still a really fun game and I got some cute footage. So I'm gonna put that in now. And then once it hops back to just a regular vlog, that is gonna be a part two of like the next week, if that makes sense. Good morning, guys. Happy game day. So today I'm gonna be filming a little game day vlog. I'm very excited. These videos are always so fun to film and I love looking back on them. Today's our last first game day of senior year. It's crazy. It's a orange out game today. So I'm wearing this little Princess Polly dress, but I'm so excited. It's currently 9.53. It's actually an 8 o'clock game tonight. We're gonna have a long day of festivities today. We are having everyone over in two hours. Everyone's coming over at 12. Invited like a lot of people. So I'm kind of overwhelmed because our apartment's not that big, but it's gonna be so fun. We're making French toast, scrambled eggs, bacon, fruit, bagels, all of the above. I'm gonna do my makeup here in a second. And then actually first I'm gonna make a coffee and then I'm gonna do my makeup. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. And we're doing mimosas too, of course. We got like pineapple juice mango juice orange juice all of the above so it's gonna be so much fun go hokies even though we kind of suck but we're playing boston college today but last weekend we lost to odu it's kind of traumatizing but happy game day <laughs> we're making bacon it's fitting you look so girly and cute yeah Thanks. happy game day <laughs> 
Okay, it's coming together. It's 10.48 right now. I, I just primed my face with the Maybelline Prime Master and then I'm going in with the Maybelline BB Cream. I love this stuff and it's so cheap. I'm kind of scared though because if you guys haven't heard the whole thing with the whole Blacksburg changes and stuff, the townies don't like the students. So they kind of are trying to take away Center Street in a way. If you know, Center Street is such a tradition at Tech. That's like a big reason why a lot of students come here is because of hokey game day spirit and everything. And now they're trying to just not take it away, but limit it and give, put all these restrictions. And they're trying to push people out of center and like, I don't know, it's a lot. So that's what's going on. So I'm very curious to see how it's gonna play out. Hello. Hey. What well, with this one? Why? I like it better. Hey. So guys, we're, we're doing our makeup right now. And let me just say, I'm a little down bad right now. I had Taco Bell before going out. And after. And then after. So I've, I've been having, I would oh not recommend God. that. I didn't let him eat it in my room because it smelled like gross queso beef burrito. If you go out front, someone was wearing the New Balance 550s. Those are the shoes I'm talking about. Again, like I said, Center Street has, it's so iffy on the restrictions and stuff and nobody really knows what's going on. We're not allowed to have music. They canceled all the DJs. We're still gonna have a great day. We're having like 30 people come over for brunch. I don't know why we thought that was a good idea, but we're making breakfast potatoes, French toast, bacon, mimosas. We got the whole nine yards of stuff and these boys are being treated like royalty. Katie's boyfriend's here, Ivy's boyfriend's here, my boyfriend is here for the weekend. It's also supposed to rain all day and that kind of stinks. It's gonna be so muddy and gross and it's kind of cold. I'm wearing a dress and I don't really have a jacket that I can wear with it But you know what? We're gonna make the best out of it I'm using the Hello Flawless Benefit powder Hair is done! Two hours later, and we're finally done making all this French toast. What is that, three loaves of bread? Two. I'm bringing another one. All credits to Taylor. Okay. I'm gonna like turn this down. And now we're gonna make scrambled eggs. We have everything already. The potatoes are done, the fruit is done. Can you get me a thing to like put this in? Oh yeah, girl, I'm you get enough to eat? <laughs> my dad my It's game day. Oh, why does it look like this? Hey, last first game day. No. Say happy game day. Happy game day. Jack, how you feeling? You getting there? It's like a million dollars. Work with our kids and they're gonna be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking to the second pregame of the day. Yes. Maya I'm wearing a, a hill. Just like a little, bit, <laughs> just, a little just a little slide. Hey, it's rainy. It's not my fault. Um, Anyways, we're going to Popey's. Pope's up there. Yeah, yeah. Just hand her one. Don't let her lick the thing that everyone's using. I'll let you know what I want. Little girl. What do I want? She's panicking right now. You're a ready like to have a nice dinner. Yeah. 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 Hi, Vlog. You're like six Yeah, it's like a little bit of 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 a little bit
Guys, this is so exciting. This is something that I've like literally always wanted to do and I just can't even believe like I have the opportunity to do it. Revolve reached out to me and wanted me to become one of their brand ambassadors and guys, this is like so huge and like so exciting for me. I literally have always seen all the girls on social media working with Revolve and being the brand ambassadors and everything and I, when I got the email, I literally just like about shit my pants and screamed. I was so excited. So I'm very, very thankful and blessed that I have this opportunity but they let me pick out some things on their website so i wanted to show you guys this is literally not sponsored whatsoever like they just let me pick out some stuff and i wanted to share it with you guys i do have links that i can link down below for you guys if you want to shop them <laughs> i'm so excited this is the first little piece so it's this top i don't necessarily know if i would pair it like this obviously i might i think it would look really cute with some black leather pants but this top is so cute and it's kind of like it's like more businessy but like still really cute and flirty with like the one strap the back is just super cute i love this the quality of it is so nice and it definitely like holds the boobs up pretty well this is the next top i believe this one is from super down if i'm wrong i'll link it down below but this is so cute i feel like this would be adorable with black leather pants i think i'm about to try it on with them but i love this top it's so cute and fun i just i like the, the, the feathers at the top it adds something and like i don't have anything like this we have this little top how freaking cute i definitely would pair it with either black leather pants a black skirt or like white i think white pants would look so cute i feel like bubble gum right now this top honestly looks like something my little sister would wear she's super into like the whole like I feel like her grade is so into the whole preppy stuff and not that this is like super preppy but i just feel like it's something that she would wear and i don't know if these sleeves are supposed to be like i need to look at the model again to see how she wore it if it was like on the shoulders wow <laughs> this is the next one guys look how beautiful this shirt is i don't own anything like it and like i'm actually obsessed i love how the sleeves are like off the shoulder and like barely connected the velvet polka dots on this just everything the whole detailing the whole nine yards they also make the boobs look good i love this top this is like the idea with some cute little heels like nude heels would be so cute all right so this is the next top and it's a little cute sweater it's long sleeve i love it it's so comfortable but i love the cutouts as it has right here this is a little big on me so i definitely need to like throw it in the dryer so it shrinks a little bit it's still so cute i love it and it's really comfortable this dress is way too short on me because i'm six foot i love the detailing on it it's so cute it's such good quality it's a beautiful dress so if you're short or shorter and not tall like not six foot tall this dress would be perfect for you but it's not for the tall galleys and the final thing is these shoes holy shit they're so beautiful look at them they're super downs they're cute little pink nude shoes little heels with clear straps on them i love these beautiful i'm going on a fun trip next week with my management so i'll be definitely bringing all this stuff with me again like i said i'll link it all down below the items that i got but currently i'm in my gym outfit i'm gonna run to the gym it's 12 o'clock now i literally have class at two so we're gonna sprint Hey guys, okay, I just ran home from the gym. I did the quickest 30 minute back and by workout I've ever done in my life, but it's 1.15 right now. I need to do my skincare and I need to at least do my hair. I have to leave by 1.45 to go to class. And I need to sprint back for this interview. And I'm very nervous, guys. Look how freaking cute this is. I made my protein shake. I'm trying a new one. This is still from Vega the Protein, the Vega Protein. But this is the strawberry, this is like the fruit one with the greens protein powder. When you mix it with almond milk, it tastes like a strawberry smoothie, which is not my favorite. I'm not a huge strawberry flavored gal, at least. I just don't think I would repurchase it. I think I like the chocolate and the peanut butter one better. We are all ready for class. I just blow out my hair and put it up like in a clip for right now. But I love how that blow dryer makes my hair look. It's like straightening, but like a voluptuous straight and I love it. But I'm just wearing this for right now just because I'm gonna run to class. I literally need to leave right now before I'm late. And we're gonna sprint back into this interview. I'm so nervous. All right, see you after class. Guys, I'm back from class. Interview outfit on. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Literally this interview starts in 10 minutes and I could shit my pants. I am not good at interviewing at all, so that's why I'm just a little, a little nervous. But I just know at the end of the day, it's great practice. I'm never gonna see him again if it all goes bad, which I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't. I hope, you know, I'm telling myself it's gonna go great. I don't like messing things up and I really, really, really want to impress and give it my all because I know I'm capable of a lot. It's just hard sometimes to show that 
that because I'm just a nervous, nervous person. Holy crap, I'm really nervous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll talk to you guys after the interview is done. Wish me luck. Guys, I really want this job. So interview went pretty well, I will say. I was no nervous for probably literally no reason. I feel so much better now that it's over. And honestly, right after the first question, I, all my like emotions just kind of went out the window. I was like, fine. I just couldn't get rid of the stupid stress rash. Like I get like really red and like anxious. So my skin breaks out. But of course, as soon as the interview was done, that went away. <laughs> I hope he was probably, he was probably like concerned. Like, are you okay? It is currently five o'clock and I just responded to a few more emails and I'm calling it quits for the day. I have had a very busy week and I'm so excited for the weekend. All of our friends are going to come over tonight and we're all going to pregame and just have fun. We're going to go out tonight and it's going to be great. I'm just excited to hang out with girls, all of us. So it should be so much fun. Tegan is coming tomorrow. I just texted her. Honestly, me and Tegan is so funny because it's like, okay, like a couple weeks ago, she's like, okay, I'm going to come this week and I'm like, okay, perfect. We like haven't talked since then and I'm just like assuming she's still coming, but I just texted her and I was like, so what time are you getting here tomorrow? Because I don't know. It's five o'clock on a Thursday. Like, are you going to be here in the morning at night? Like, what's the gist? So I just texted her. We still need to get tickets for the game. It's gonna be such a fun weekend I can't wait for it to just be a girls weekend. It's gonna be so much fun I love having the boys here, but it's gonna be one of the first weekends that it's gonna be all of us girls again We talked for like close to an hour. So it's like a very personal meeting I talked a ton about my YouTube which I normally don't really like to bring up in interviews But like if they ask about it a girl's gonna go on a whole rampage about it I hope you didn't mind my talking and talking and talking. It's gonna be a while before I hear back, I think, because they're gonna be interviewing people over the next week, but I really, really like everything he was saying and I it makes me really excited. So um, I think tonight I'm gonna make a salmon bowl. I just pulled out a piece of salmon. I'm gonna do like rice, avocado, seaweed, cucumber, the whole nine yards. I'm being bartender of the night. I made me and Taylor drinks. This I saw on TikTok actually. Look how cute this is. This is our little mixer cup. I use this, absolute, because Tito's over here, Miss Little Tito's, makes me break out red all over my body. I get serious, like when you get really red due to alcohol, that's what I get. This, on the other hand though, she, she's good to me. I'll show you what we're currently making. I did two shots of absolute in here. Before that, I mashed up in this three fresh strawberries. We have a mint plant actually growing over there that Abby takes care of. So I put two things of mint in here and then I'm gonna put some soda water. This is so ghetto. And then obviously everything is to taste. I can't seem to get this on right. It's like exploding on me. Oh, exploding. It's like exploding everywhere ice from our ice machine which is awesome i'm gonna link that below and look how cute these are guys my mom gave them to us they're like little margarita cups but we make them for our mixies and our cocktails we have our handy dandy ice machine so i'm going to take a couple scoops of this ice look how awesome this ice is we're gonna put it in here a couple scoops of that sorry this is the most ghetto like drink tutorial i think i've ever done and you click that button and it starts making ice Look at that beauty. Okay, now I need to top it off with some soda water. Taylor's freezing. It's so cold in this house. I know. We top her off with some soda water. Our wine oh, cellar. Oh, this is, we have a wine cellar, guys. Look how scary this is. So, our house is the house that everyone comes over to when we pregame or if we're just like going, you know, downtown or for game days. So, we've accumulated a bunch of stuff of people's drinks of the day and they're just accumulating in there so we're gonna try this drink and then we're gonna take our fresh lime that i'm gonna cut a little piece of and that's gonna be like our little garnish for our drink just like that we take a straw it has to be a pink straw actually <laughs> it's a blue straw because i get to a pink <laughs> straw and we have the same drink so i'm color changing. changing i know they are color changing look at that <laughs> There you go. Let's do taste test now. I'm actually really scared because let's see what she tastes like. Wait, I really like that. It's good. The strawberry I can't adds. taste the strawberry. Really? The strawberry is sweet. There you guys go. Quick and easy drink for the night. It's our first one to start the Thursday night, the night of the weekend. All right, we're gonna squeeze this in here. The night of the weekend. The beginning of the weekend. This is the outfit that I'm wearing. This top is from Princess Polly. I've already worn it. I feel like the second that you put on a top that you've already worn, everyone's like, oh, you've already worn that top. And I'm like, 
You, do you guys feel me? Like, I know it might just be in my head, but like, I feel that way. And I'm like, it's nothing new. Like, I feel like I'm reliving the same night that I lived when I wore this top. Like, every top has their own story. And I've already lived my experience in this top. But it's cute. It's for Princess Polly. The whole backside is open. And these jeans are Zara. I'm gonna wear them with like these white Princess Polly shoes and drinking my drink. Also, I think I just got a text message from Emily and she said she's gonna come out. I'm so excited. I was like, I'm gonna miss you tonight, Emmy, because she's been really, really busy with all her grad school stuff. Look, like, does that mean she's coming out? Shut up. We always have sleepovers too. So she's gonna sleep over tonight. Watch her walk in with her backpack and everything. I already know it. She's gonna have all of her stuff with her. We're gonna go out there. No one's here yet. Everyone said they were gonna come at seven. It's 7.30. Hi. Oh my, oh my God. Hi. Stop, Hi. it's like a paparazzi are here. It's one of these nights, guys. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Why? I got stuck today tomorrow. And I gotta be okay for the game. I will go on Thursday. That's on Saturday. But I do have to work at 10.45 in the morning. Also, was like, but I only have to like sit at a business. And I never knew you look. It was never planned. Yeah. Are we interviewing? <laughs> so we're saying that we need to do Indian runs for our frog right. boots. None of the gym workouts she says will okay. compare to being we're, a you gymnast, will. cheerleader, dancer because I'll explain. It. It All of us are in line. The back, oh, excuse me. You, The back person runs the front Run, sprint, and then run. you all keep running. Keep running and then. Indian running. <laughs> <laughs> This was the end of the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I thought it was really fun. Um, I got some fun footage. It's just like, you know, pure fun memories. And so I'm super excited about all of it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all. And stay tuned for the next vlog because that's going to be the second game day when Tegan came to town and she came to the game. Such a fun day. Such a good vlog. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys and I'll see you all very soon in the next video.